to tell you the truth, I mean, it, it's pretty simple. It'd just be perspective, right? I missed the reality. Mm, no. Yeah, you know how you look, like I'm on the highway, right? I'm yep. looking down the highway, and I'm seeing clouds that looks like they you know, touch the road. Actually yeah. touch the treetops uh, yeah. straight ahead of me. But um, And as I move towards them, they rise up, and then I eventually I'm right underneath them. Yeah. But could it be that the Earth? It could, could it just be that the Earth is curving? Well, no, no. I, I think it, we got to the bottom of it. It's the trees. If it's, it's the trees, if right? It's, <laughs> if it's if it's curving at eight inches per mile square or something even close to that, then how could something yeah. seven miles high be touching the horizon, looking to be touching my horizon, right straight ahead of me, in such a short distance away? Can you give the distances? What's so the distance? I'm still yeah. moving towards them. I got to oh, track okay. it. I'll let you know. Because usually when I've done some similar things, it's quite a long distance and tall trees. And I mean, we have Come on, guys. It gave you all the data you needed, yes? <laughs> they are on the horizon. What is the horizon? What is the definition no. of the horizon? Yeah, it's where yeah. the sky is the, no, seems George, to meet George. the ground, man. George, well, what no, no, no. And, talking about and the trees, what they, not the horizon. What does the definition mean when it says... No, they are disappearing on the horizon. No, the trees are not in the horizon. <laughs> the trees are the, the, the boundary be, uh, on this field of view between the sky and, uh, and, and the treetops. That's his horizon. Yeah. George, you're no. guessing. You don't know where the trees are. You don't the know what's going on. Ground. The horizon is Now it's just right? described... Yeah, the clouds are coming from the treetops. So the, what George. he's describing is his horizon, George. where the sky George. meets the trees. George, give me the citation where it says that the horizon is the apparent place where treetops meet the sky. Now, where the sky seems to meet the ground, in this case, are the treetops, yeah. because they are too close to him. <laughs> so treetops are the ground. If it was a mountain, the mountain would be it would be the, the same. The con the the, uh, the contours of the mountain, yeah. It's the the boundary between the sky and the ground. Yeah. yeah so we need the distance be, to the trees, well, the height I won't of the be trees. Able to measure it. I'm actually coming up on a yeah. on a. Big it doesn't matter because as you're going towards the trees, the clouds are coming towards you. So they yeah. it's like they they are just generating clouds. Above the treetops, so they're just generating clouds over there. We know that they're not generating there. I mean, you have to know the distance to the trees, the height of the trees, your height, the distance from the trees to the clouds, the height of the clouds, and the distance from you to the clouds. Well, so you need to beg the question, yeah? No, what question? Why, why you need to involve calculations in something that is obviously flat? Well, why do you ask the question then? If it's obviously flat, then you don't need to ask the question. But I'm not asking the question. I know that it is flat. You are. You want to do calculations. You want to explain something that you don't find a reason for. Well, there is no reason for anything if I don't know what's happening. I have to know what's happening. No, there is. There is. Things get too small to see over distance. That's enough reason. You don't need to calculate anything else. No, that's not what he's saying. He's saying that he sees clouds behind the treetops. That's not, nothing's disappearing. Nothing is disappearing. It's coming into field of view. No, it's already in the field of view. The cloud and the trees are in the field of view. Yeah, but as, it, as, it, as he's driving towards the, the trees, the clouds seem to come in towards him. They seem to come, oh, that's a new, a new cloud. Oh, there's another one. Yeah? It's not like there are new clouds. They were there already. They're just in a yeah. straight line. Is your field of view, you can't see them. Yeah, and that would happen on a sphere and a flat surface. So, if you want to know... So, why you need is. to do maths? Why you need to calculate how much is going to curve? Because if you want to know... You need to curves, beg the question. No, if you want to know if it curves or not, you make the calculations. How, how, but how do you come to the first conclu conclusion that he's curving away from you? That's the question. I have no conclusion. I want to get to the conclusion by doing the maths on it. No, but you are already assuming the, cur the curvature You're and applying maths to it. 
you're assuming the flat as much as I'm assuming the curve then. No, but you need to realize that whatever you are, yeah, the radius around you is it, it, it will give you always a radius around your your view. So whatever maths you do when your radius, when your field of view all around you will give you always a, a circumference. Yeah. I don't see what is what is uh, the science behind it. I mean, he tried to say that the Earth is flat, and he liked to give some info on that. And now you're saying that it's useless because we know that it's flat. That's clearly an assumption there. No, no, you are assuming uh, spherosity when is it, you don't need to assume any of it. I'm not assuming anything. That's why I need the measurements so I can make calculation and see if it's curving or not. Yes, but you've done this calculation, or, or we just done this calculation uh, on, on the seaside with the black swan photos, and now you're turning to, to, to lands to use the same calculation. It, it, it works the same way. The horizon at some, at some point will be farther away than 1.2 miles. Yeah. We're not talking so there you go, your calculation falls again. No, we're not doing a calculation based on horizon now, we're doing it based on clouds and treetops. There's still a horizon, it just moved way down. Yeah, on yeah. Yeah. either surface. Yeah. The, yeah, you, you can call it horizon, but it's not what we're talking about, right? Yeah, we're not talking yeah, about it, the horizon. It seems, it seems as though the atmosphere could actually be calculated uh, to be an average of 8 inches per mile as far as the illusion goes. You know, from what it seems like. But the black swan proves to you that it's just the atmosphere which gives you an illusion that oh, it's horizon. physical. Yeah, but we know the atmosphere can can do that. So yeah, it's not well, either either if it's a flat or a uh, curved surface, the horizon plays a role in where the horizon is. Exactly, that's what yeah. gives you the R value is the measure to the horizon. Oh, right. But how do you know, George? How? It's the angle deep to the horizon, not how far it is. And that's just well, I know that I know that uh, Alberoni is very dear to you, but uh, again, you cannot measure one mountain and come with a calculation of the whole world. That is absurd, man. Yes, you can. That is a uh, that is a bad a bad, a bad time story for the no, kids. No, 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 no. You say I can't understand it, George. Don't say it's absurd. It's very simple. You can't understand. You you don't accept it. That's up to no, you. No, no, I don't accept simple. because I know how very it works. Simple. I know I know how it works. So I know, you know I know I, 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 yes, I do know. I know how to, to, to measure the dip to the horizon, yes. George, do you understand trigonometry? Uh geometry, yes. Not trigonometry, right? Yes, it's geometry, straight lines, yes, I do. Well, no, geometry is not trigonometry. Well, you're going to have to do a triangle. We need to use uh, straight lines, no? Yes, you use straight lines. So, okay, so, so on the black swan observation, yeah, your straight line is uh, 10 times. What do you have to say about that? I say that the object that is higher in your field of view, due to trigonometry and those calculations you can make yourself, would not comport with a flat surface. It's too high, so it means there's an optical illusion, an effect going on that raises up that object in your field of view that would not normally happen if those factors were not present. Would you agree? But uh, will you complicating something that is simple? No. Yeah. You measure you measure the deep angle to the horizon. You measure the deep the deep angle to uh, to to, uh, to your zenith. And you and you'll have your your position. You'll have the angles. Yes, you can calculate whatever you like, I'm, I'm and you'll go all around. You will you'll have a, spur, a perfect circle around you. But if you move one step to the side, you're going to have to calculate again because the radius changed again. No, that's not how it works. 
So you go, you look at the object in the distance and you see an angle from your eye down to that object, or in your case of the black swan, slightly up. And if it's slightly up, that won't work because with perspective in mind and understanding trigonometry, that you should not have to look down or look up for an object that is at a distance of one, two, three, four, five miles, eight miles, 10 miles at the longest possible distance it will be exactly at eye level if the earth is flat no but uh, but that's not the argument because the camera is uh, not even one foot high but so even, even if it was a three foot high yeah the okay. object that you're talking oh, about is the platform it shows that's the not the argument view. the argument shows, the argument on, George, is George. the uh, horizon george it shows the camera on the beach with the waves washing up on the shore that is quite a bit higher than actually water level, but it's okay. We can still use your one foot because the point you're trying to make is well taken. That at one at one foot observer, the horizon should be at 1.2 miles, and we see a horizon closer to eight or nine miles. So you're saying, well, what causes that? Well, ref downward refraction causes that. That makes things appear higher than they should be. And you know what? You can measure that angularly. That's why I brought up trigonometry. If you look at the angle, or if you measure the angle to the object in the distance, and it is higher than it should be, then that is due to some type of effect. Would you not agree? I do agree, Zanik. Welcome to Flat Good. Earth. Good. This no, is what we've been saying all along. No, the horizon no, is on. not geometric. Hold on. Hold on. It it's moves every George. day George. forwards and backwards. George. But you guys, on your George. model, is geometric. Yeah, and yeah, this yeah. is when your model yeah. collapses, Zanik. Can you please not, don't interrupt me because I have a point to make. Look, at you're talking about what you see. If you see an object that is above your eye level, above it, at a distance of eight or nine miles, what would cause that, George? Because it can't be a flat surface beneath you if you're looking at What it causes is my, my field of view. If it's on my field of view in the black swan image, yeah, you're looking straight ahead. You're not looking up. You're looking straight ahead. I'm looking straight ahead. What are objects? We're looking at the horizon. We're looking at the horizon. Yeah, Forget horizon, about the object. The horizon. The horizon, the oil wells, everything is above your eye level. That is impossible on a flat. But it's, it's not above my eye. It's above my eye level, not above the camera level. Yes, it's the camera lens level. level that it matters, yes. not mine. It's, the observation is from the camera. I understand, George. So listen, if we had no refraction, we would see the horizon drop by 0 0.04 degrees. Three miles. You're just asserting that, man. Hold Again, on. you're asserting yeah. that. You, you just need one picture. picture. That's oh, why it's called George. the black swan. George. It's called oh, the yeah. black swan for a reason. You see how cr crazy, frantic you sound? You're not able to listen. At, with no refraction, like a real clear day, or a little refraction, we see this. We see the drop of the horizon by 0 0.04 degrees. That's exactly where it should be if the Earth is curved. Now, in your picture of the black swan, we see not only is it 0 degrees, it's above zero degrees. So something is acting on that object to create an illusion that makes it above where it should be using basic trigonometry, George. And this is what you're not having. So you, you're telling me that the objects are not there. Yeah, the, the, the demarcation marks, they are not at six and at uh, nine miles away. That's, that's what you're saying. It's an, op it's a, it's a, it's a, a, an optical illusion, is it? No, it could even be an optical illusion, but they are measured, yeah? They were measured. There was a company that went there. They uh, they built it there. They know exactly where they are placed geographically. Yeah. So the argument is not that. That we know. That we know. What we didn't know is the distance to the horizon is greater than the platforms themselves. You sound like a frantic, crazy person. Slow down. Now, if that object at nine miles is above your eye level, then you have that there is something creating that illusion. Because it has to be an illusion, George. As you said, the object, we know how far it is, and we know how trigonometry works. So an object that is nine miles away will be a, cannot be above your eye level, yet it is. No, what makes you say they cannot be above my eye level? It's there. The I can see it. Works. End of the story. Don't triangle. need to calculate anything, Zanik. Listen to me. If you draw a triangle, and you are above the surface, the object in the distance will always be some angle below your eye level. That's how triangles work. 
Now, if it's a flat, what if what if the object is above is, is above your zenith? You gotta slow down, bud. You're just going way too fast for yourself. If you have an object that's not 0 0.02 degrees, and that's where it would be if the triangle was exactly perfectly flat on the baseline, then and it would be 0 0.04 degrees if it's curved, which we usually see. But we're seeing zero. We're seeing no declination. How can you curve a triangle? Now, you are talking over me because you're very confused. I understand. No, you come on. You, you need to go back to school to learn geometry. You're, you're talking you're about triangulation, and now you're adding a curve there somewhere. Bite on a towel or something. Bite on a towel or a, or a big piece of leather strap, like you're getting an operation in the old west. Because you're this is painful for you, but you cannot have a triangle with a zero angle doesn't work you have to have some angle and we're seeing a zero angle in the black swan picture to the horizon the base of the oil rig that's not possible on a flat plane you have to look down to it so what's happening i think we all would agree that refraction is real and that could be one of the possible reasons for this optical effect would you not agree no, I agree that yeah. once well, that you so you so do the the, the, the geometry, once that you do the triangulation that you were saying, yeah, trigonometry on the black swan image on that particular day, yeah. Uh, if you if you bring the uh, astrolabe, for example, if you do the the dip on on that day, it, the the observation to the horizon, you take that measurement, yeah. Or obviously, the horizon on that day is further up. What do you know? And mm -hmm. then your, your zenith, your zenith angle mm -hmm. is going to give you the triangulation. And guess what? On that day, your radius is greater, more than 10 times greater, man. George, settle down. So now listen to me. You already made a few good points that we know the object is nine miles away. And it's not my it. argument, it's Q's argument. It makes no, no, sense to anyone. Not, you can explain not, to a, a, a three-year-old and they, explain, they understand. In trigonometry. He doesn't know how to calculate things. I'm, I'm allowing you to learn about trigonometry. Real simple. If and I'm going to learn it with you? Come on, Zane, quick up. Listen to me and you might learn something. If you have an object nine miles away. I would give you a slap to you wake, for you to wake up, up man. You're sleeping. Let me give you a black swan. If you have an object that's on a flat surface that is nine miles away, it can never be at zero degree inclination from your perspective, from the camera. So you say, so you say. No, no that is the law of not only jump Of gravity, law. yeah, that's the law of gravity, maybe? No, law of, it has nothing to do with gravity, George. It has to do with the physical universe and geometry. It has to do with geometry, that on that day, your radius is greater 10 times. You cannot have a triangle with zero angle. You cannot have a triangle with a zero degree angle. Would you agree? No, it's not. And what's your point, man? That's that, uh, we, so we you, observe, you're talking about tr trigonometry. We observe, we observe the stop talk. George, this is what happens when people get really frantic and, and excited. They can't think straight. You're not thinking straight. I'm giving you an example of your black swan where the angle is zero to the oil rig. Oil rig. That cannot happen on a flat surface or any surface unless it's convex. So there is an optical effect on <laughs> You have to agree because you cannot have a zero angle on a triangle, George. If, you, if, if it was true that that object was nine miles away and you said it's true, then and we are six feet tall, we should see a 0 0.02 degree declination, an angle downward. You're changing the figures, Eric. George, you don't want to talk over me because you're just going to make yourself look stupid. You're changing the figures, you're man. Gonna, you're going to you're going to have a 0 0.02. You're not being realistic. That's not the argument. A 0.02 degree angle, which we don't see. We should see 0 0.04 degree, which we do see on the days that are not refracted, i.e., the object's not distorted. But on the day of the black swan, where we have a, a really interesting uh, appearance of this object being at eye level, that there's not, no, nothing that, interesting about it. It's there. Yeah, it's refraction, George. That's why the object is at zero degrees. You can't have that. What's, what refraction? No, you the, we can see the platforms completely. You cannot have a zero degree angle, George. And that's what we're seeing. So you can pump and fist, throw your fist at me all you want. But you have to figure where do, out. Where do you see a zero degree angle on the black swan image? Zero. 
It's above zero. Where? Where do you see? Where do you it's see above that? Zero. What I'm is above at, zero? By looking at it. Wait, wait, wait. It's wait. not. It wait, is. George, Don't George, be silly. George, George, it's a triangle, right? There is object on the ground. Your feet on the ground. Your eyes above the ground. It makes a triangle. Your position and your zenith position uh, doesn't change. You, it your distance it, to the horizon, no, it, it's the angle that changes no, on that bay no, is greater 10 times. George, it's a triangle. Yes, object on the yes, ground. Yes, and the one that goes from your location to the horizon feet. increases. George, pay attention. There is object on the ground. Your feet are on the ground your eyes above the ground and go back to the object that's a triangle it right perspective too george it's all very now clear. now the the QE. now the uh, the triangulation now. is made from the horizon george, horizon george, to your george, location to the zenith george george i i haven't finished you guys don't know geometry how many you're having an George, argument from ignorance. George, you guys don't know. George, we don't know, teacher. How many angles? How many angles in a triangle? The clue is in the name. How many angles in triangle? Uh, what is the sum? The clue of the is in the name. It's, sum, it's like the, the fictitious sum. force from yesterday. The clue it's is in the name. The the angles, the the angles. How many angles are in a triangle? He wants to hear it. Just play. How along. many degrees? How many degrees in a triangle? Can I answer for him? Yes. One hundred and eighty degrees. In every okay. Triangle. Okay. But we have one angle that is ninety degrees. We know that's the one between our feet and the object. That's ninety degrees. We have one above it. That one cannot be ninety degrees, or it will not be a triangle. It has to be a little less than ninety degrees. Therefore, you always have to look down to the object. If it is at 90 degrees or above it it's not a triangle anymore yeah you need to do you need to do those donkey dicks isn't it those curved lines over the curve that's what you need to do now isn't no, it no i'm on flat earth now i'm on flat earth on flat earth exactly you can't have exactly it. so you, triangulation. Have. you have your position on the beach yes you you bring your zenith about uh, above your head, yeah. So and and then he, the the other angle is the horizon line, yeah. On that yeah. day, it's ten be. times greater. So it's guess what? George, the angle is not further George, down; it's further up. George, yes, George, your you're triangle. Angles. George, you're mixing angles with distance now. The angle from no, your no, eye. No, 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 your, your triangulation on that day is way bigger. The radius is ginormous on that day. You know why? You, no. Listen because the horizon, the horizon is over 10 miles away, man. Yes, because you're looking up or straight. Welcome to Flat Earth. No, it can't be on flat Earth because it must be less than nine. It degrees, cannot be. Not definitely great. cannot be on the sphere. Definitely cannot be on the sphere and George, not on the sphere with the it, radius of that you, you you need to have. George, you you just say words. You you don't say anything. We're talking about angles here. We we counting them. George. Exactly, and George. on that observation, yes. your angle, to, your angle to the horizon, yeah, your tangent line, yeah, that uh, that tangent line on that observation, it's ten times greater. No, Chuck, maybe a visual aid might um, help. No, it won't. I don't think Chuck is that stupid. It just, it's just trolling. Chuck. Jake, why don't you express to him the difference between those pictures we show him, where the position of the nine-mile platform with respect to the four-mile platform and how they move with respect to another. 
That shows the angle of the horizon. But that's not the, the argument. The argument is the distance to the horizon. No, we know. We, yes, th that's right. And the distance to the horizon. So is, don't talk the, about the platforms yes, then. The platforms right. are demarcations George, for I'm distance. You, George, I'm agreeing with you. The horizon now is nine miles, but it should be one mile. You're right. But the interesting thing happens here, George. The horizon rises in your field of view to above zero. It's not even zero. It's above zero. And that can't happen on a flat plane. It can't. It's impossible. You're talking you're about zero person. again. You're no, no, no. Really the horizon is, is way George, up on that George, day. George, yeah. Please. There is no George, dip. George, there is I'm no dip to the horizon, man. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Don't interrupt. You're being very, very rude. rude. I don't know what, where you live, your man. The radius of the earth can't be looked at here because we're not even able to figure out the triangle, the angles. We have angles that are not comporting with a flat model, a flat surface, because you agree that a triangle has three angles. You said that. You, you knew that. You said try was the indicator of how many angles there were, three. And the angle, if one is 90, you and the ground, then you have from your eye to the object has to be a very small angle if it's nine miles away. And then I'll tell you the angle, it's going to be close to you know, 0.1 degrees, 0.01 so degrees. But we're not seeing that. We're not seeing that at all. We're seeing it zero degrees or above zero degrees in some extreme cases. Now, what you are seeing, what you are seeing, is the demolition of your R value. That's what you what see. You can't, what you see is you don't understand that when you have the further object move above the closer object. That it's not happen. the object, man. It's the horizon. Then we have a, then we have a, sec, we have a second triangle. Don't you see, if you have an object that doesn't move in, your, in the, in the uh, foreground, but in the background an object raises up, that makes either something's curving or there's another triangle involved. Don't you understand? No, we're talking about C. We're talking about C going up and down, George, tide, George, and things like that. that the yeah, but there is no balls on that picture. George, you know why? I, I could give it away why, but I'm George, not going to tell you why there is no balls George, on that day. You're, you're ignoring the point, and you know this because you've seen the pictures. The further object is raising up in your field of view angularly. That cannot happen. All right. That, that cannot can happen, happen on a globe. Yes, we know that. It can't happen on a flat plane. It can't ever happen. Period. No, no, it can't happen on a flat plane point because point. you just look straight yeah, ahead. Point. There you go. Oh, what do you know? He's there. Why is there, a <laughs> why is there another tri Why is there another triangle that changes in the, in the distance from the first object to the second object? How is that we would st well, you can do many triangulations from uh, no, no, after no, that one. We just you need one. That's why it's called the black swan. Don't know swan. what they mean, Look, George. You're you're a dumb shit. That's all we have to say here. You don't think for yourself. You can parrot things pretty well, but you cannot think for yourself. Open your parrot, mind. Uh, learn uh, something. Listen, I parrot them very well. You know why? You know why I parrot them very well? Because they make perfect sense to me and to anyone. Listen to them. Uh, maybe maybe if they listen from a different a different mouth, it, it makes a difference. I don't know. To be fair, God. but your radius is gone, Zanik. Your radius on that day, your geometry was broken. We're way beyond the radius, George. We're talking about strict angles, not even a curved surface. Just talking about your flat surface. It's impossible because the further object raises up on that heavily refracted day, creating another triangle. Two triangles, same observation. How is that possible? You can't explain it because you're confused. It's all right. It's not no, I'm not. No, I'm not I'm because you, you, you are confused because you don't know what the horizon is. And you don't know that the horizon moves. The horizon moves <laughs> from your position. Yeah, you can stay the whole day on one position on the seaside and you'll see the horizon will move every day. But you guys say it doesn't. You, say, you guys say it's geometrical and you can do the, 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 uh, the measurements that you just uh, spew no about. One and you have your measurements. Geometrical. Chat is the picture. In the, in the chat is the picture. Two observations and you said the horizon does move every day that's interesting interesting concession the interest the, mo the more interesting thing is why the further exactly it moves every day on. the horizon is refracted which one is which welcome one is to flat earth 
Which one is your Welcome to George? Flat Earth, Zanik. Welcome to George, Flat Earth. George, 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 you sound like an idiot. Stop saying that. Which one is refracted, George? The upper. The picture only the horizon. Which one is the refracted picture, George? They are. They are both refracted. Okay. Yeah. Which one? The, but horizon the horizon in one day is further away than the other. That means that the horizon is not geometrical. Your geometry is gone, Zanik. Up. Listen okay. to your own words. Okay. Look at those pictures. Practice. The horizon moves from George, one day to the other. George, you are a fucking obnoxious little bastard, aren't you? Why don't you just tell me what poison has caused the effects we see in both of those pictures? For example, what kind of refraction causes the further object to be below the horizon? And then in the upper picture, what causes refraction to cause the object to be above the horizon? It doesn't matter, man. What it matters is you do an observation, and guess what? It's there. It's there. It's there. You don't need to calculate why it's there. There is no mystery. There, you don't need to apply the scientific method to it. How about this? Which one is closer to reality? Which one would actually comport with a flat surface? Well, the one that it doesn't confine with reality is your globe one. The geometry on your globe, that horizon on your globe, that it curves, yeah? This one doesn't curve. As you can see, it doesn't curve. You clearly are confused because the upper, the, I'll answer for you. The upper picture is more with a flat surface. The problem is, George, that the second object is stretched out vertically and it is lifted up vertically. Angularly. But we're not talking about the objects again. We're talking about the horizon. That is above zero. You can't have an object above zero in your field of view. If you were to measure that, that'd be above zero. And the bottom picture, which is clearer and less distorted, shows that the object is exactly where it should be angularly. And we know this angle by the position of the further object with respect to the closer object. We know how when you say it should be, no, no, what do you mean it should be? It's no, there. It's exactly we can see that it's there on both ones. Based on a curve. Yeah. So it's where it should be based on a curve, a curve but the upper the picture upper is not where it exactly. should be based on flat. So you tell me which one you want to think is correct. Or has the least amount of error, i.e. They, they, they are both correct. They are two observations from the same, the same location. And they debunk your geometric model. Yes, yeah, they, 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 they show exactly what Flat Earth has been saying all along. The horizon, the horizon. Yeah, it's not a location that you can go to. Yeah, it moves every day. It's it's with perspective. Yeah, but not on your model. On your model, on your model is geometric. You're a moron. Sorry, sorry, I just missed telling you to shut up. Zanny. More, I also miss more you poison speak. by Zanik, and there's probably projection. Quit calling people morons, Zanik. It, it's, it doesn't help your argument, man. Mm, yeah, you listen to Kiwi every day. Does it help, does it help Nathan to call people We're morons? We're not talking about Nathan. Nathan's not here. No, no I'm Zanik. talking. No, Zanik's I'm right talking here saying about moron, Nathan. and you're ignorant, and you don't yeah. understand. No, yeah, I'm asking yeah, yeah, yeah. if, 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 if it helps it Nathan. We hear it. It doesn't help. Mm -hmm. It doesn't help. help. It's very telling. So tell tell no you, you guys are denying simple geometry. That's the problem. No, George, what? it's you that deny. No, I am not. I'm not. No, your because triangulation, talk... your triangulation on the black swan image is ten times greater, man. No, what do you, have to say about you that? don't understand the words and accept. So Simply. it's me who don't understand. Yes. I don't think so. George, yes, you got it. You didn't even listen. Your radius is gone, man. Gone. Finito. Oh, my God. How, why do you say that? Because your radius, your model on that day, was got broken. We don't measure the radius by looking at the distance to the horizon, though. Yeah, you don't measure the radius at all. Yeah, you'd calculate it. You no, derp. It's directly measured. Yeah, you no, you don't. No, when, no, when, when was wrong. the radius measured? Yeah, when was the radius? The Al Biruni method. Really? Show me. You're not familiar <laughs> with Al Biruni method? Yeah, show me. I just want to just go ahead and show me. You want me to link you something? Yeah, what, right what measurement device did they? 
the angle of the no, drop of uh, the uh, uh, No, that'd be a calculation. Is that, is that really your counter? It'd be a is calculation. That the best counter you have? Like, is that really the best you have to counter him? Yeah, he's got nothing. You, you haven't sad. measured dick, dude. You haven't measured dick. We have directly you measured, measured the size the of Yeah, you, you've directly measured nothing. Yeah, what have you measured on Flat Earth? Hold on. Okay, you, thank you. you, we, you are, know, we are measuring you know, your, your globe. We are measuring your globe. You guys George, assert that George, we live on a globe George, I, with a certain radius. George, that is George, what we're talking George, about here. We are demolishing George, George, the Alberoni radius George, measurement. We had you. We had Alberoni, you. the dip angle to the horizon. That's not a true measurement. That's an apparent yeah, dip okay. angle. That's okay. Exactly, so exactly. For you... For you, for you, for you, for you Alberuni yeah. was your way of measuring the radius. You presuppose, life. presuppose the radius and it's then measure to one an way to do yeah, it. Uh, uh, we, 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 horizon, which changes yeah, day okay. to day yeah. out no, out. That's true measurement. That's true one measurement. way to do it. Yes. No, wait. That's, that's only one no. way to do it. You can do it Hold on, ways. hold on, Sam. Hold on, Sam. I have a question. Do you know how many miles you drive today? <laughs> I don't keep track, but it doesn't matter. I'm not driving on a, uh, on a radius, on a ball. I'm no, 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 no. Radius. I'm asking, do you know how many miles you drive? I can. I can use my odometer and figure it out. Oh, really? And oh, does it oh, measure really? kilometers? It measures how exactly measure kilometers? Can you tell me? It calculates how many times the... the I calculate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, but it doesn't use an apparent yeah. position. And yes, of course, it, it, it uses the apparent no, position of no, your wheel going yeah, through no. some other uh, uh, you uh, have that gear. Measurement. You have that measurement. You don't have the measurement have of the, the earth measurement. you presuppose the radius. That's how no, you measure no. things. That's how you yeah, measure can them. Can you touch the apparent horizon? What can does it matter it? if you can... Yeah, what does <laughs> it matter? Touch... Yeah, because it throws it touch, off a little bit. Touch your yeah. wheel. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. that was yeah. bright. Yeah. Go ahead and Dude. measure that angle. Dude. Use an auto level to, <laughs> That's to a shoot, black swan. shoot the building and then measure down to the bottom of the building. No, no, That's I just too. wanted to point to you that all we measure things in horizons. different way, even even if we don't measure them me. direct. Yeah, 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 but I can do it. My tires are. How here. do you measure? How do you measure in the parent location? You can't. That's right. You just take refraction into account. Yeah, you can take refraction all you want. That's you take refraction of... into account. That's a good one. <laughs> um, so, on your calculation, what do you what no, do you I will, not take, I will not take a refraction. Dude, the, the, the Glover's arguments are getting fucking worse, man. These guys are absolute dunces, dude. Wow, really? They're going backwards. Really? They're going on circles. You're right. No, right, we right. Don't. So... We can derive the R from known distances on the globe when we map them on. Wait, so, before so. that fellow goes away, could he also mention he wasn't paid to say that? Because we've been telling the Globers the no same party. thing. No party, we aren't paid to say this. Yeah, I know flat earthers are being paid by the Catholic Church, but we don't get paid. <laughs> yeah, we know distances on the Earth, so... When you map those on a surface, you form a sphere. Oh, really? So how do you measure to the horizon? It's surface, isn't it? According to your uh, model, it's, just, it's surface, yeah? You have a curve. Uh, so how do you measure to the curve? I wouldn't measure distance to the horizon. I would measure distance from point A to point B. Okay, so you're on the so okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So you're you, you're on the you're on the seashore, yeah. You have your feet just on the on the sand, yeah. You're looking towards the the horizon. How far away is it from you? Don't know. Depends on the conditions. Okay, so but but you know how to do the measurement. So do the calculation then. I don't know the variables. Okay, no worries. I'll give you all the tools that you need. You just describe what I have to do from point A to point B, which is point A is your point, yeah? Point B will be the horizon or the other way around. Whatever you want to do, yeah? You choose which instrument you want, which measurements you want to use, uh, and I want you to calculate that. No, no, you swim there. You swim there, George. You can swim to the... No, 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 you said that we know the distances. 
I want you George. to tell me what is the distance to the horizon. George, George, I never said that I know the distance to the horizon. I said that we've mapped the Earth so we know distances between places. I never said horizon. Okay, said horizon. okay. Knowing what distances is the distance on a map doesn't doesn't dictate shape of what you're standing on at all. No, uh, really? Yeah, because no, really? All, the flats, all the maps are flat No, no, anyway. no, 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 wait. Go, uh, GS said here something. So you take pieces, uh, let's say, of, of uh, uh, ropes with the same scale of the distances you know, and you connect them together. You will not get the shape? No. No? Oh, how, how not? That's you serious? Right. How can you say no? Because you don't, you don't No, because you're mending them all together. If you can find me one flat map that doesn't have distortions, one flat globe map that does not have distortions, I will give that to you. If you can find you me can't. one if you can find me one perfect globe that you could use to travel with, then I will give that to you. And yeah, as, you long, as long use... as the scale's one to one? Or uh, scaled down properly? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, if it's scaled one, did, one that'd be interesting. Did someone yeah, ask one one. if we could find a flat globe map? No, did I just, said, did I just hear that? Distorted. Yes, he, he did. Said a flat good. map. Yeah, the, uh, the level curves. Well. They like to say the level curves as well. They just like to use God scalpel, you realize that you're disadvantaged here. The problem is flat earthers don't even have a map to begin with. None of them. Yeah. It, but hold on, no, yeah. I'm not disadvantaged. All the maps are flats. What you saying? What are you talking about? Oh, All the guys, maps are flats. Whoa, whoa. You give oh, give us five hundred million dollars one day that no give you anything. Out of I the don't US. give you anything. That's right, Redox. The reason why I would say I'm not disadvantaged, I hear what you're saying, but I simply hold the position that a map tells you how to go places. It doesn't give you shape. And so it doesn't, it could be a fucking banana for all the map cares. Here's the distance between point A to point B. When you right. say the map that's enough to create shape, a globe. That's incorrect, that's Cal. Pardon me? Gives, when you say a map doesn't give shape, that's incorrect. It doesn't. You have to project your shape on the map. No. What? Yes. No. Yeah, yes. No, you project you project the maps on the shape. You don't no. do it the other way around. No, 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 no. All the maps are flat. All the maps are flat. And guess so, what? No, you even lay them down on the floor. <laughs> so your yeah, problem is, well, is when uh, you say, George, all the maps are flat. I don't believe you. This is a cue for me to never talk to you again. Bye. <laughs> really? Well, what, what map you have that is uh, around the globe? Google Tell me. map. Google Earth. One. No, Google Earth, hold on. No, no, that's, that's, a fl that's, a fl that's a flat Earth map. No, it's not. Google Earth is yes, a flat Earth map. Yes, it is. It's a flat map. Earth map. Yes. Google no, Earth. Not. No, hold on. Google Earth is not practical until you Why? zoom in to... No, I'm, I'm saying until. It is practical, but it's not practical until you zoom into a local area, which yeah. at that point you're looking at essentially... I'm not saying flat map is in necessarily flat earth, ball earth, but you're essentially looking at a flat map like if you took out an actual map in your car and looked at it at that point. That's because the curve is too small to see on your screen. Why well, too many that, discrepancies when they glue all the images together? It doesn't, it doesn't matter why, it's just the, my it only does. point is... Yeah, I know what, what you think it does, but my only point is, for me, my point is, it's not practical. Google Earth is not practical when you're looking at it as a globe. It only becomes practical when you get localized. And at that oh, yeah, point, yeah. it's once Yeah, but if you, if you want to... Google Earth is not a map. The map. The map is not Google Earth, is it? Okay, yeah, it's kind of... Google it's Maps. It's, it's Google Maps abstract. that is a map, not Google Earth. Google Earth but, is a reification. But if yeah, you want to get like, proper distances between two points, you're going to get more accurate results on a globe then you will a flat map. No, no, it, no, that's... No, not, no, that's because matter. the only information that you have matter. access to is, is, is that one. That's the no, only information that you have access to. Here, here's the deal. The shape doesn't matter. We get accurate distances because we measured them. Because we have roads that we build accurately to the, to the foot, probably to the inch for all I fucking know. But everything is, everything is already, it's measured out. We don't sit here and say, 
we live on a globe, therefore the distance from point A to point B should be calculated out this way. We we figured out the distance from point A to point B and put it. That's on exactly what we're talking yes. about. The uh, the flights right. in the south in the south hemisphere. Yeah, when you from Australia in order to go to let's say somewhere in uh, in South South America, you need to go. Uh, you need to go to Johannesburg. That's the problem. Okay. Let's right the that. geometry we fails have... again. You're right that we have physically measured these things and whatnot, but the only way to properly project them is to do it on a globe, and that's well, to maintain that's, distances. That's not exactly true, but anyhow, my my only argument, I just want to be clear because I hear people from the flat earth side arguing a little bit differently than what I'm saying. So all as I'm trying to say is that the distances are what they are, they, I'm not trying to prove flat Earth with the maps or globe Earth. I'm just saying I think it's a bad argument all around to go to what the What about maps. the headings between locations, the direction you should go of that distance? How do you reconcile that? What do you mean? Can you predict what direction and how far to travel with a flat Earth map? Well, once again, I'm not saying there's a flat Earth map or a globe Earth map. I'm just simply saying, like I said, it could be a fucking unicorn shape for all I know. I'm just that saying wouldn't that give the maps directions. What do you why, why not? Know? Why hold not? On, hold on. You don't even Whatever, know. Guy, you, we're what all you breaking start? down on one thing. Nobody has a map. Flat earthers have... don't have a map. Ball boys yeah. don't exactly. have a map. And you don't have Nobody has a map. Either. We kind of do. This is 2016 arguments, man. You don't really have a accurate How we get from place to place get... without a map? You get your directions from a magnetic compass, which once you get south of the equator, even north of the equator as well, actually, but you're using magnetic declination all the time, which is telling you that no, north no, isn't really north. Yes, you do. No, no you don't. Fucking yeah. right, you do. Yeah. No, check, yeah. check, check flights close to the uh, Antarctica. They don't use math. They only, uh, no, compass. They only use GPS coordinates because of the compass. Yeah, but deep. GPS is just a grid system. It, once again, it could be on a fucking unicorn for all I care. It's just a system of grid it, it that someone it put. It can't yeah, because but, of the distance. <laughs> Pardon? You'd have to tell every navigator on any ship or any aircraft that they are not... They've been navigating, supposing a globe, this entire time. It doesn't You're going to have to explain matter. to That's them how... Point. The shape well, but doesn't it does. matter. No, it doesn't. Wait Listen, a minute, wait a minute. The 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 no, sir, the the let, me, let me explain to you why I think it doesn't matter right quick. If you, let's say you live in a, a little town and you say, I live in point A and my friend lives at point B. And if you go three blocks to the west, four blocks to the north, six blocks to the east, and four blocks to the south, you'll arrive at my friend's house. Now, you're going to say, well, that's too small of a level uh, to, to decide shape because you're all fucking concerned about shape. But what I'm trying to say is when I give those directions, nobody fucking cares if you're on a fucking unicorn or if you're on a ball or if you're on a flat plane. Okay. Now, you take those directions bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's all going to be the same thing. The, the directions don't fucking care about the shape. But it does. Like, no, it okay, fucking so, so doesn't. Imagine, imagine no, it you're coming, it you're sailing it out of, away. I mean, imagine you're sailing out of Cape Town and you got to sail all the way to Once Sydney, Australia. Once you make Australia. a system, it doesn't fucking okay. matter. You can put the grid system on any fucking shape you want. Okay. No, you as can't. Long as, you as long can't. as we all That's agree. Yes, yes, you, you can. can. Yes, you can. As long as we yes, you all can. agree. As long okay. as we all Would agree, you... this, this is the system that we're going to use. This is the way we decide the directions. And this is what a mile is, this is what a kilometer no. is, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Not it's possible. a convention. No, you guys the are miles and it kilometers does, It's a bad the, argument. The, no, the miles it's and the, okay. the kilometers should be different on the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere if the Earth is flat. No, a kilometer is a... No, you're not... A you're kilometer not, is a kilometer, man. What yeah. are you talking about? It doesn't matter. No, okay, so if you think of the Gleason's map, which is kind of the, the famous it doesn't flat matter, Earth all... map quote, if you sail from Cape Town, South Africa... To Sydney, Australia. I don't fucking care what the, the distance, map shows. The distance on That's that map is going to be different from what you'd actually travel I don't fucking care. on the globe. But, I don't but care. ship captains no. do because no, they no, need the no. proper amount of fuel. Yeah, they and food. care, right? They know what the distances are. It, yes. Down, it doesn't matter what the shape is. That's what it I'm does. trying to tell you. I give a because fuck. Because you what, need to. 
Hold you on. need to represent it on something. I don't give a fuck what the map says. I really do in the end. Because the distance, whatever, like if you took a wheel, like I said in my example, a, a distance wheel, a meter wheel, or whatever, and measured out the distance of the travel from point A to point B with those directions I just pulled out of my ass from my house to my friend's house, um, the, I, I could give a fuck what the map says because that's the actual distances and those are the actual No, distances. and what about the direction? What about yes, the direction? Yes, you need di direction, get direction and distance. But get which direction map? from your compass. Yeah, which try map to, maintains try to, the to distance. navigate on, on flat... Uh, you get uh, direction uh, from your compass. Now, the problem with no, all that is, is you can no, say... Hold on, no, hold on. you decide you your say, direction to begin with. No, listen. You, yes. Well, you we need to agree. have a reference point. We yes, and in this agree. case, you're going to use a compass. Yes. Great. We generally agree that the compass is where we get our directions. Now, the problem with the compass is, is for whatever reason, we've given we've the you know the system that we've been given has magnetic declination, so we don't decide that north is always north according to the compass. And especially it gets bad, like places like Australia. The magnetic north is the compass from one, one. Side to a, from one side of Australia to the other, the magnetic declination is like major difference. I can't remember what it is, but it's like 15 degrees to 30 degrees difference or something like that. Don't quote me on it, but it's like a pretty big difference. And so just on a smaller place like Australia, magnetic declination is completely different. So... What's that fucking telling you? It doesn't like. No, you don't see Le that there's something there. Yes, you, you talk very long now. Try to 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 set the heading on on the flat map using using there is using no your flat compass. Map. That's my whole point. Ah, I, no there flat is no map flat map. You know map. why? Do you know why? No, there's just maps. That's no, my whole what point. The, all the argument. maps are flat. That's my whole point of my argument. Is there's just maps? They don't care. The maps. That's how okay. they started with the maps. So, yes, they used to navigate on the boats, and they used to uh, to do drawings of the landmarks. Yeah, that's how they used to navigate back then. Yeah. And they then they used to use the angle dips from the sky, from your 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 zenith point to the horizon, to give you your location on a flat map. Yeah, they, they were trying, like, this is how a really bad you keep, argument on how both do you sides. Keep no, but you're not, not, li you're not listening, though. No, you're right? not listening. They've no. Wait, been guys, trying. guys, but you're, made, you're making a point. If you want to talk about how they navigated before, what's the crow's nest doing way up high? Well, Why do you this, need it? Looking out. Yeah, this is the thing. They've been navigating great distances and traveling great distances when they thought the Earth was fucking flat. So... To say no, all of a they sudden, were... once they figured out it was a ball, oh, look at that, they could really navigate, then it's bullshit. It's just not true. Okay, it's about it's a bad getting argument. a represent a scaled-down representation exactly. it's a of bad what, argument you, on what you're moving sides. on. There's no, no flat <laughs> map. There's no fucking globe map. There's just fucking maps. There just is distances and directions, and they okay. get okay. from point but A to point How can you the, make a model... You need to make a proper model that properly scales down those distances. That's the problem you guys run into. No, it yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just, you're just scale. saying. When you're talking yeah, you're about just saying scales, it's a problem. Hang on, guys. No, I'm not just scales. saying. Just if, I was, if I was sailing scaling from Spain down. to America in the old days, like Christopher Columbus, if I made it within 100 miles of where I was going, I'm a hero. Okay? Scale and scale. Scaling down a distance <laughs> doesn't give you a fucking shape. Once again, it just scales it does, down the distance. There's to get only it out. No, it one way to plot it. There's You're only looking one at it way to plot it. I'm telling you, it's a shitty argument from both no, sides. Of the you have, okay, so if you're, if you're able side. to, if you're able to plot this on a flat map, all distances on the there's globe. There's no fucking such thing as a flat map. Exactly. Just maps. Exactly. There's That's no why the globe, the globe map because it can you do that. You don't say, hey, honey, hand me the globe map so we can see how to get to the next city. You just say, no, give me the map. No, you calculate the distances get, get me the more direction. properly if it's scaled you don't down properly. You calculate distances, though. That's the problem. If you're going to make, no, no, no if you're gonna make a trip, if you're going to make a trip across the Pacific, the you need to know how serious. far you're going. Yeah, you should get the A to Z. You should get the A to Z globe. You're not going to think that. I think you don't care about 
There's no globe or fucking flat map. There's just but maps. You, you gotta but do you think they don't head. care about distances? Exactly. The and distances. all the maps are flat. Yeah, the distances aren't decided. They didn't say, oh, the Earth is a globe, therefore the distance is such and such. No, they said the distance is such and such, therefore we'll put that on the map. Okay, and That's, if you're gonna plan your something out, your thinking. if you're gonna plan something you out, plan you're out gonna want an accurate representation of what you're gonna sail on to accurately based say how far I need to go. Yeah, based on the distances that you already know, not based on the shape yes, which you're true. traveling on, dude. Do so, you think there's? It's a bad mentioned. argument. Someone Both mentioned uh, Christopher Columbus. Did you guys know that he wasn't a flat earther, but was a glober? It doesn't matter. Once again, who fucking cares what he believed? Oh, that, he that you guys are missing the point. Navigate do you think, accurately. But do you think there are charted courses for every he, possible he, course? You, like are you telling, hold on, hold on a second. Redox, do you think Christopher Columbus navigated accurately? Because my understanding is when he got to America, he was thought he thought he was Indi in India, and that's why he called the Indians Indians. So yes, he then, thought then he was uh, say, on the so other side of India. Say, so if you're trying to say that assuming it's a globe gets you places, well then obviously assuming that it's a globe gets you on the opposite side of the fucking earth. He thought he was on the opposite yeah, side so of that's India. A bad, once again, bad argument. So, I, no, no, hold on, argument hold on, anyway. hold on, hold on. Yes, yes, you're going on and on. I measured the distance between Portugal and New York. And guess what? The line is curved. Can you explain this to me on a flat map? Why how does can that, you prove why that the, the line, line curve? How, how can you prove that the line is curved? Okay, so say if you how can you have a bended yeah, line and do a measurement? Right, it's a bad okay. argument, you guys. No, do you... both drop it in my opinion. doesn't prove. Okay, it. but you're not understanding how I do fucking works. understand. No, very you don't. Clear. No, Probably, you I'm don't. Thinking at this point, a you said clearer. you don't no, care. You, Why you say you, you understand? Don't. You're it's not a listening. Bad argument. <laughs> bad. Bad. Okay, do you think there's a charted course for every possible destination out there overseas? Oh, I don't fuck the I know probably. Probably well, no, they not. Really chart, they chart the way they go. They this is the this okay. This is another thing that you brought this up. Is there's already predetermined, like basically highways in the water. If yes, you there are shipping decide, lanes, but right, that does not so, make every single destination available. Would you be able to apply so the distance from Okinawa, Japan, to Christmas Island sure, right now? To. How? Well, you get a map and fucking plot it out. Which map? A fucking how would you, map. How can you accurately get a distance? It has nothing to do with shape, dude. Get off the fucking shape with <laughs> See, the map. that's the problem. Yes, 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 there is. Yes, there is. They've used it on the First World War, and on the Second World War, they used flat maps. Yeah, flat maps. George, when you, uh, when you, you do George. a straight line, listen, on navigation, on, uh, on navigation, navigation, you open the flat map on the table, and you measure from point A George. to point B, a straight line. Yes, George. it's easy to navigate. George, look at the live stream. I measured the distance between Portugal and New York. They straight ahead. Also, George, uh, you go to the Why world. is it curved? You didn't measure. Listen, listen, so listen, listen. If you get a measuring Flat tape map. and you bend it, you won't get that measurement. No. You, you think I got you the wrong measurement? You cannot do You think you it can find... a straight line. You think... Ah... You think you can find a shorter line between Portugal and New York? A straight yes. line, yes. A Please straight do. line is... Please is, is, do. Uh, listen, Please do. everybody knows Please do. the small distance between point A and point B is a straight George, line. George, a tangent line? George, George, find me a shorter way between New York and Portugal. Please. You think it's not shorter line. way, not shorter way. Go the distance is the same. Go ahead you are and find you it. are curving. You are curving a line. You don't need I'm to curve that line. The anything. distance is the same. Try, just because you, just because you see a curved line on a computer program, you think that's your reality? Yes. Well then, it's whatever. It's the shortest then you line. Continue, you continue it's with the that shortest line between Portugal and New York. No. It's oh, a fucking computer program. 
God's help. No, measurements are gonna be either on uh, paper Chucky, or on Chucky, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. You're gonna measure. You're gonna measure the height of a mountain. Are you gonna measure going around, spinning around the mi the mountain until the the mountain top? Or are you gonna measure on a straight line from the the ground to the top? George. Find me a short. No, I want you to tell me how you're going to no, do that you measurement. Didn't. I, I, you're, I are you going to measure? You're going to you put yourself claim. in your car on your motorbike, George. and you're going to measure the the road George. that takes you to the top George. of the mountain, George. or you're going to do a straight line? Stay focus, George. Stay you focused. are a dumb ass. I'm going to call you, you for the first time. You are stupid. George, try to stay focused. You said. The shortest way, uh, distance between two places is a straight line, and this is a flat map. And I that want that line to is to not find... straight; it's curved. Yes, I want you to find me a shorter line between Portugal and New York. It's a tangent line. It's On called a tangent any... line. A straight just line. Find me the line. Just find me this line. It's easy. You get the flats. Go uh, ahead. Map. Flat you get the map. Listen. Get a map. Yeah. Any map that you that you want. You can even use those cool maps that they put on the wall. Yeah. And you put from Portugal to America. And you, what you're gonna do? You're gonna do a straight line. You're not gonna do a curved line. Oh, okay. What's the distance? Yeah. Good luck with that, George. George, I put you on a plane. I mean, what? Good luck yeah, with I, that. I want George to. I, I'll explain this to you. I explain this to you, George. You will measure four and a half thousand kilometers on straight line on your map, and I'll fuel your your a, a, a airplane for four thousand five hundred meters kilometers, and you will end in the ocean, George, because you will not have enough fuel. You are talking so much shit, my God. Would you, you say it's all bullshit, Steve? Steve? It's just spewing nonsense. Yeah, that's too bad. God scalpel, do you know why they don't call it a globe map, by the way? Because that's redundant. This is part of my point. It's just a fucking map. It just gives you no. Do you understand? You know what distances. Means. This is okay. Oh, no, I the know point what about distances. Means, you said it again. I know it's no sense of saying a globe map because everybody already knows it's a globe map. But that's the whole point of all this conversation, dude. Because you're fucking tricked into automatically thinking that it's called like fucking mass hypnosis or propaganda or whatever yeah, you want to call yeah that's not it's not about uh, just the distances you have to actually know i mean you don't have to know the fucking shape don't god don't tell me you have to know the shape because they've been the traveling for hundreds of years thousands of years with thinking the fucking earth was flat so don't fucking and tell me flight. The route is important for emergency or, landing purposes. Whatever, dude. And you think the they don't? Correct. You cannot make an emergency landing. So fucking. If what? it's not if it's not round, you cannot do an emergency landing. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying if the route is wrong, if you don't know what islands or they what don't figure out the road. What no, because the fucking shape, dude. They you get you get your map. They do. They do. You guys are dense. <laughs> okay, how do you know that they don't? How do you know personally that they don't do that? Because that's not the way they do it. They have fucking... According to what? What? A according to what? You could sit here and say, well, when they bring out a map and figure out the route that they assume it's a globe. I'm saying yeah. big fucking deal. Once but is again, this information you're getting from a pilot or a ship captain telling you, I don't do this? Well, you know what? The pilots don't and the ship captains, I used to fucking... I lobster fished for two years, dude. And we got around in the water just fine. And you know what? You know what I can tell you we never fucking talked about once in two years? Was the fucking shape of the earth compared to how we move around on the water. Okay. I promise you, it might be antidotal, but I promise you, 
We never fucking sat there and said, lucky we know the Earth is a globe or we never would have fucking who, made it. Who is home. we? So, you and the captain. The problem, is, the problem is, lobster fishing only takes place in certain sectors off the coast. It doesn't fucking matter. I've, actually, it's not I've sailed you. across the ocean, and yes, you need to Good plot out you. the course on a globe. Yeah. Great. No, you don't. You have just to said do it across. On you see, you just said oh across the ocean. He didn't set any globe. He didn't set around the ocean, did you? He said across the ocean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gotcha. Uh, 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 it's the double speech, guys. George. God, what is it doing? No, that's not what I want. There. George, do you have the distance for me? The shorter distance. The shorter distance between point A and point B is a straight line, a tangent line, Go which is ahead. not what you have measure on it. your picture. What? On your picture, you Go have a ahead. curve. Go ahead and, and measure it. You That's need to go back to school and learn your yes, geometry. Yes, George. Yes, you have to. Do they have schools in here? You, you know what the great circle is, George. Is there still any schools left in Do Israel? you know what the great circle is, George? A great circle? Oh, yeah, I do know. I've been in school. What is it? A big circle. <sighs> All right. Man. A great circle is a big circle. So what is that exactly, what he said? So is what that what exactly, he said? A great circle. What exactly is a great circle distance in your head? Remember, George, you told us we need to go back to school for geometry. The great oh, circle. Is that a question for me? The great circle is based on presupposition of a sphere. It's the greatest circle around a sphere, which is on a, in your case, on your model, the equator. No, Actually, it has absolutely yeah. nothing to do with uh, geography because it's a geometric term. So, a great circle is pure math. So, how do you measure this great circle? You cut. Where do you start? Where do you finish? You move a plane through a sphere, through its center. A flat plane. And wow. where it divides the sphere that's the great circle that's the shortest distances on the sphere on a sphere but you have to assume it's a sphere isn't it no you need to yes yeah, yes you need no no you need to go through the center George, of the sphere no it's, you you need to have yes a yes a straight line you can't do it with the cube, assuming it's a sphere. Won't work. How do you how do you come to the conclusion of a sphere to start with? That's the question. It's simple. That's the shortest distance you can move on 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 a sphere, and you can try to find a shorter distance than this between Portugal and New York. I challenge yes, you. Yes, it's a straight you line. Need to do, it's a straight line. All you, you need to map. do is... Listen. listen no, I will not map, get... George, George, George. You get the navigation map. Yeah, you lay down the navigation map. The navigation and you do a straight map. line. Yeah, get you use the, a ruler George, from point A to point B. George, and that's how please, you navigate. Please do it. Well, navigate? I, I've done plenty of navigation. Measure yeah. the distance between Portugal and New York. Give me a shorter distance than I showed what? you. What have you navigated, I don't have, I don't have a, uh, a scale that big. What have you navigated, yeah. George? What's that? What's, what's your navigation history? Oh, well, I'm from an island, so I know a lot about sea. That didn't really explain it. <laughs> well, normally, I, I, uh, when I navigate, I navigate with a um, coast on sites mm -hmm. because I'm uh, from an island. So I'm not allowed to go too far away. I can go from island to island. That's how far my license allow, allows me to go. 
Yeah, but how does that make you like knowledgeable about the sea? I mean, my country is well, dependent. Well, uh, it's easy. No, I'll explain to you. On, I'll explain to you. On, you ask me a question. On, you ask me a question. I'll on, give you. You didn't finish. finish. My country is dependent on dikes, or else we're underwater. I know fuck all about them. So how does that make you an expert? No, I'm I'm not an expert, but I know how to navigate. I get the map, I get the compass, I know I know my direction, yeah, and I keep my course simple, straight line. Don't lose that course. Yeah, but you know, on a flat uh, map, you will have to lose your course. No, I don't. It's a straight line. It's a straight line. So knowing my position, no, no, knowing no, the no. angle of my if uh, yes, knowing my <laughs> if, if I know something... the angle of my navigation, if I'm if I'm uh, listen, if I'm if I'm going south southeast, I keep south southeast on my compass and I'll reach my destination. I don't need to, to be seeing it. My license doesn't allow me to go further than the, what the coast allows me. But uh, mm. if, if I keep if I keep uh, that route, I'll, I'll I'll get straight to my destination, man. George, look at your flat map uh, pizza, and you will see that to no, 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 to All another, the maps, that to the maps are flat. Yes, you will see that to move from one place to another, you will need to change course all the time because the straight line does not maintain course. No, no, it does. Well, you need to maintain course, not the straight line. No, the straight line you do earth. it on the paper doesn't need to go to do it. Let us. Now, George, you have to curve upwards, not to the side. If you maintain your course, what do you mean curve? You, you, you move in the curve, 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 not a straight line. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. No, no. You need to. You need to count for currents. You need to count for winds. Yeah, a lot of things can can George. throw you out uh, out for your trajectory, George. but uh, you need to compensate. That's why you need to uh, compass George. with you all the George. time. George, if your north is in the center and you will draw a straight line, <laughs> you cannot maintain course. Or if you keep course, you will not move in a straight line on the pizza map that you have. What pizza map that I have? I said to you that all the maps are flat. I don't have a pizza map. Okay, so give me the measurement. But but you know those those are not real maps. Yes, because one side of the world connects to the other side. We know it. So we some somehow what do, what do need mean, connect them mean? together. How do we connect them together? The west what to the east. What do you want to connect together? What do you want to connect together? The, uh, the west to the east, the flat maps. Uh, you want to put all the maps together? Oh, well, if you put all the maps together, you, you're going to get a, a, a flat map anyway. You're going to, to end with the, with the cylinder. The problem is when you try to fit it around the, around the sphere, it doesn't we fit. We end with That's a the cylinder. Now you, you're changing shape. You were talking about the sphere. Now you're changing to the cylinder. You don't know your shape. You, you said they're flat. I need to connect all the dots together that we know they are connected. So not, I'm not connecting all the dots. one side. Point A and point B, straight line. Tangent line? No, the left side to the right side. They are connected. Well, man, you don't know how to navigate then. George, your flat maps and end somewhere that you will fall, right? But you don't fall, no, you just I won't come fall from anywhere. the other side. No, I won't fall anywhere. So what you need fall? to connect it to somewhere, George. No, no, not really. If you see the Second World War uh, maps and the First World War maps, you have a whole visualization of the whole world. And we that's how they navigate, straight lines. If you go over land, of course, you're George. not going to use the boat, isn't it? George. But if you go on the, sea, on the sea, you're going to use, you're going to use the boat. Overland, you're going to use airplanes, but, straight lines. Don't, George, try not to parrot and, and use the, the gray matter you have uh, between your ears. Try to use no, it. No, I am. You are not using yours. No, I am I using am. mine. I am. You flat man. You didn't man. answer my question. Apparently, you, you have man. schools in Israel. Do you have schools in Israel? You, yes, Do they teach do. geometry? We do. Yes, George. Yes. I know a lot of Jewish people where I live, and they, they know this better than you, man. 
I don't know what they know, so I can talk about them. Now listen. Well, the well, they've map. been in university in this George, side of the world, not on that George, side of the world. Let's stay on, on course, okay? Let's not deviate. Let's go straight. Yeah, geometry, your geometry, map, straight lines. Your map ends somewhere on the left side. Cheeky, cheeky. Your map ends cheeky, on the left cheeky, side. Cheeky, cheeky. It cheeky. ends on the left side. Don't interrupt me, please. You have nothing to say. If you have something to say, say it. So cheeky. the map ends on the left cheeky. side. Hey, Cheeky. What the fuck? You get my point now, Cheeky? Shut up when George no. is talking. George is not talking. George is interrupting. Yes. Now the map ends on the left side. How, how do we continue? We need to connect it somewhere. How do we connect all, all the, the points on the map, the, on, the, on the flat map that you use? Listen, Cheeky. No. If it's on the map, if it's on the map, it's a known location. Yeah. Cool. If it's not on the map, it's not a known location. You you being silly with your comments. Yes. yes? No. The, no. The no. smaller you distance have... between point A and point B is a no. straight line. You don't you have see, a straight you line on your uh, on your drawing. Talking. Cheeky is talking. Shut up, Cheeky. We can't hear him. We want to hear the conversation. Yes. All we hear is you, Cheeky, yeah. talking. It's not George. conversation. It's not it's conversation, conversation when not... he's talking and you're just talking through him the whole time. It cuts off the audio, man. We can't hear him. Then you shouldn't. George, you have you're a square the map. Whole time he is. We have a square. You, you have a square map. Is your wall square? You see Cheeky? Cheeky. Is your wall hey, square, George? Get, get the point now? No one can hear you. No, I'm I talking. don't get your point at all. Every time you don't, George talks, you don't you talk have a point. Him. You yes, I don't do. have a point. Okay, I'm going to make it George. further. Go ahead. Oh, cheeky. No, he, cheeky. he has a point. Cheeky. Go ahead, he Cheeky. Has a po hold on. Dumbass. He has a point. Dave has a Attention point. On every back. time. Hold on a second. Every time George talking, you're talking through him. So what Raki is doing is talking through you every time you talk to give you an example of what you're doing so you realize what you're doing, all right? So we're getting rid of the 20-minute conversation with you dumbass globetards that don't understand simple common sense, okay? Now, chemo. Chemo. This guy. Does he talk since he's been in here? No, I haven't. That's heard. negative. That's a negative. All right. Sorry to interrupt. So I'm going to let Cheeky off mute. All right. Maybe you guys understand that. I'm going to take my leave. You tell Chemo I was looking for him. What's he done? He hasn't done anything. That's the problem. Uh. <laughs> Roger that. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Continue. I'll take Cheeky. Do you want me to leave him go? Yeah, you just can't. We can't hear anybody else but Cheeky when George is talking. The audience can't hear anything but Cheeky. Right. We want to hear both sides of it. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to be the only person talking either. I want you guys to, to interact as well. Yeah, I got you, Chemo. Hold on a second. Chemo, I, I asked you for a couple. What was difficult about what I asked you in Skype? Don't put them in Master B. I asked you in Skype, right? So put the things I asked you for in the damn place, same place where I asked you for them. Not in Master B. You were in my channel, right? So we started our conversation. So 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 listen, we started all our on our conversation in my channel. You don't then respond. <laughs> okay, because I may not be looking there. I'm waiting for your response on the same phone number I called you at. <laughs> now, it's just, do you understand what I asked you for? Just those two pictures, not any other pictures. Just the two, I think it's BMLSB 69's pics. I want them separate, and then I want them in your... I don't know who put that slide together with magnify. Uh, uh, was it magnification?
Yeah, if you can give me the link to the video, then that's fine. Sorry for the interruption, folks. This will only take a minute. Unless chemo sniff and glue today, it'll take 18 minutes. Well, there's somebody else sniffing glue. Because <laughs> it's an easy request. I just want a dollar for every time Cheeky says, George, I'd be a rich man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was listening to it here a little bit, but it's yeah, ridiculous. I understand. I understand your struggle. Emo. Emo, I'm looking at Quantum Eraser channel and Skype. They're not in there where'd you put the link did, did anyone catch oh my god you see how difficult this is man. now I even see you in I got it so that's the link it's QE and computers again <laughs> shut up <laughs> Now, now I don't. Okay, I want. I got that picture. Okay, that's good. Now you're gonna give me the link to the video where you got it from, right? When you get it, when you get a chance, post that link. You did a good job. You put it right in the same phone number as I asked you for. Look at that! You Dang did it. it! Want another one? What the hell is this? That's one I've never seen before. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Hooray! <laughs> all right. Now, I got another question for you since we're all buddy-buddy. Now, what I was trying to tell you before, when you were discussing... Hold on a second. This is jumping. This will take just a few minutes and you could get back to interrupting each other. You said... Are you listening to me, Chemo? All right. So you told Soundly, you said, the horizon can never change. It has to be fixed. Right? You said that. That's incorrect. I just want to just want to correct you. It's not I'm not dogging you out or anything, but you got to be specific and you got to be correct in the things that you're saying because this is very important. All right? The horizon, you said the horizon can never change. It has to be fixed. That is incorrect. Go back to my argument. If the earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles, then every horizon distance measurement, here comes the important part, must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height and feet. Now, that's saying that the horizon, because the horizon is always adjusting based on conditions. There could be storms, there could be fog, uh, your height, but other conditions can impact where the distance to where the horizon is. So it's variable on, on many different variables. However, this is this is really important. You ever be in, you ever be in school where the professor, you know, stamps or pounds, right? Because the next statement is very, very important. That's what I'm doing right now. Here, let me do it. Second. All right, you got it? The next statement is really important. It can be no more than 1.225 times the square root of observer's height and feet. You, are you tracking with me? Yeah. So the horizon does vary. There's no problem with that. I, I see where you're trying to go, but I just want you to be hyper-specific when you're talking to these friggin' numpties.
You're chopping real bad, dude. Just let me just just yeah. Drop out and come back in. Can I give